Hey, how's it going guys? Nate here, and today we're going to be taking a deeper look into Kingdom Come Deliverance, an RPG set in medieval Europe. Now, if you saw my last video in which I was listing off games in 2017 that I was really excited about, this game was definitely among them, and when I was researching it, I got even more interested and decided to pre-order the game, also gaining access to its beta, something that... Generally, I'm a bit cautious about because when a game does this allows you to buy into early access It oftentimes is a recipe for disaster where the game simply never fully releases because the developers don't have an incentive to and players are stuck playing a game in which the developers have an excuse to allow glitches and other issues just plagued the title for years you know Daisy has been a chief offender in this being in early access for what three four years now Ark Survival of All been in early access for over a year and a half so I was very concerned about possibly falling into the same trap with Kingdom Come, but it seems as though that will not be the case. The developers have been very good at communicating, and the beta seems to be more of a small taste of the game, rather than what Ark and DayZ have done, where the beta is the game. So what is Kingdom Come? Well, as said, it's an open world RPG set in the year 1403. And what the developers are shooting to do here a little bit differently is while it's still an RPG in that you can level up and build a character and whatnot, there's no magic element about it. There's no dragons or ancient staffs or anything like that. I suppose you can say the developers are gunning for something a bit more realistic, which is rather refreshing. Now the plot to this game is rather simple. The kingdom you live in was invaded by Hungary, and these Hungarians thought it would be funny to massacre your village and kill your entire family, because, well, you know, the protagonist needs a motive or something. And then you're off to try and help stop these Hungarians from pillaging other cities. And from the handful of hours that I've played this beta, I can't say that the game is extremely similar to Skyrim in the way it plays. Or... Maybe at least in the way I play it. Countless times I caught myself doing things that I did in Skyrim when I first got the game. Like killing a guard because I thought his armor looked cool or just trying to butcher random peasants in a desperate fruitless effort to level up. And while we're comparing it to Skyrim, I feel like certain aspects of this game are significantly superior to Skyrim's own. Take combat for instance. In Skyrim, or really all Elder Scrolls games and most titles for that matter, combat generally just boils down to whether or not you have high enough stats and enough health in order to take on a bunch of enemies. Whereas in this game, sure, stats matter, they count, however, melee combat is significantly more complex. You have to block in the proper direction, dodge, slash, stab, all using this really interesting star system controlled by mouse or controller. And this makes the game significantly more realistic. You're never going to be able to just butcher five people at once, or at least not without a decent amount of actual skill. And that's what I find so great about this game's combat variant. Skill is more important than character stats. Back when Skyrim and Oblivion were still fresh, I'd often wonder how Bethesda or other developers could improve melee combat, make it something that's interesting without boring us half to death, and I could never really think of anything. But Kingdom Come's devs seem to have gotten it right. And every once in a while in the main quest line, these massive battles will erupt in which large amounts of AI will just charge straight into each other's lines. And you can either participate in these or just cower off to the sidelines like I like to do. It's really cool to watch these things go down, and they somewhat remind me of the Civil War battles in Skyrim, but to a much greater scale. The map is also very well done. You'll stumble upon little caves in the middle of woods with people hiding in them, or random little encampments of bandits that you can mess with. The cities and villages scattered about add a pretty cool sense of flavor, and of course being built on the CryEngine, not only is this game easily moddable, but it just looks stunning. The visual style is realistic, and goes excellent with the medieval setting. However, this game is not without its flaws, and believe me, there are some. For instance, right now in beta, the game is very poorly optimized. I, I can't stress that enough. I have a GTX 1080 and an i7 quad core, and was still subject to major frame drops and stuttering. At times, my FPS would drop down into the 20s, which is terrible considering the PC I'm running on. Also, while the map is awesome, it's a bit rather small. It's set to be just 16 kilometers at launch, which would be just a bit smaller than DayZ's map. But so long as the game gets well optimized by its launch, and the map is filled with meaningful content, I think this game is very well set to be something that compares to the likes of the Elder Scrolls and the Witcher franchises. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in trying this game out, I do have a link in the description to its website in which you can purchase or pre-order the game and get access to its beta. But keep in mind, you do need a rather strong PC in order to run this in its current state. If you don't have a good PC at the moment, the game's full release is expected to be sometime later this year, at the same date for all modern platforms. And no, the Nintendo Switch does not count as a modern platform for this purpose. This video is more or less just a first impressions that I've had with the beta of the game. Of course, don't take this as a full 100% review, as the game's just not out yet. I'll probably do one of those once it does release. But with its 2016 release date, this could be a really great thing to hold us off for the next Elder Scrolls title, or whatever other big RPGs are coming out 
that we're excited for. Anyway, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit that like button. Dislike if you did not, and I hope to see you all in my next one. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>